This video is brought to you by Vodafone Qatar. Did you guys know that Qatar has the biggest tent in the world? Assalamu alaikum everyone, it's Mr. Q, your friendly neighborhood Qatar here. And today we're going to be talking about Al Bayt Stadium. Al Bayt also meaning the house. Now we've got an expression, Al Bayt Baitkum, which means our house is your house. Big casa is su casa. So tents are super important in our culture. Yes, nomads and Bedouins use them for shelter. Oh yes, we use them to shield ourselves from the sun and also to keep ourselves warm from the winter cool desert. Now, despite it being designed like a tent, it's actually quite a ultra modern facility. It can house up to 60,000 people. And when you walk inside, you'll see the vibrant patterns that we are known for. These patterns are usually seen on sedu. These are our cushions. These stadiums are not only supposed to be simple to navigate around and be super comfortable, they've also got cooling. Not that we need that much cooling because uh, during November, December, January, oh my goodness, the weather, oh, beautiful. One of the other cool things is that the upper tier seats can be recommissioned. The location of the stadium is in Al Khor and that's one of our beledias or let's say prefectures or states, AKA municipalities. Al Khor is just 35 kilometers away from Doha. The area is famous for pearl diving and fishing alike. One of the reasons why a lot of people liked going to Al Khor back in the day is because desert dwellers just loved the coast. The stadium itself is gonna be hosting the opening match along with other matches leading up to the semifinals. The countries that are gonna be playing in the stadium include Qatar, Ecuador, Morocco, Croatia, England, USA, I don't have enough fingers, just add another hand, Efrun. Spain, Germany, Netherlands, and Costa Rica. And now that we know what countries are gonna be playing, let's talk about the things that you can do around the stadium. So the first place that you have to check out is El Bait Stadium Park. It boasts a huge green space with children's play areas, exercise stations, cycling tracks, boat rentals, food stations, and many more. In the middle of the park is an artificial lake where you can just go ahead and kayak or grab a boat and just row, row, row your boat gently on the artificial lake. But the thing that I think that you should check out are the light pools that look like they're in the shape of needles. Number two is for you beach dudes. Maybe you just wanna go ahead and just be like a beach bum or something. Surf's up, dude! Ah! All right, I've got a Farkia beach for you. It's got picnic tables, benches, umbrellas, and of course also children's play areas, but most importantly, the Emerald Ocean that we have. Yes, the super green sea let you surf on it super easily. Number three is Beledna Park. So you get to enjoy fresh, I'm talking about super ultra fresh food. Milk, just been squeezed. Cheese, just been made. So you can go ahead and check out Beledna Park for extreme sports, go-karts, archery, animal feeding, bicycle riding, and so much more too. So go ahead and check out Beledna Park. Number four is another park, the Al Khor Family Park. It's one of the largest parks here in Qatar. There are entertainment areas, lots of greenery, and sports areas too. If you wanna go ahead and get away from all of the traffic, maybe this is the park to go to because it's a little bit further out and it's much more quieter. If you wanna keep on going towards Al Khor Central, then you can also check out Al Khor Mall. And uh, it's a small mall, it's a cozy mall, but just in case you're one of those mall rats, that's a place you can check out. All right, so how do you get to the stadium and around? There's a shuttle bus service that will run to and from Lucille Metro Station. You're gonna need to take the red line. You can also go ahead and use Stadium Express buses, which will also operate from dedicated bus hubs and bring fans 11 minutes walk from the stadium. Now, of course, the whole point of this guide is just to share some of the stuff that's closest to the stadium. There's so much that you can check out around the country. And if you wanna find out some of those locations, check out ilovequatar.net. And if you wanna know what events are happening, don't forget to download the Qatar Events application. No excuses to say you didn't know. So guys, if you enjoyed this episode, please don't forget to give us a like. Don't forget to share. And you see that bell? Hey, editor, give it a little house, a little bait. Master Dominic.